So we're going to look at mixed fractions. I'm going to show you um, how we can write 3 and 4 fifths as an improper fraction. So I'm going to work out how many fifths altogether 3 and 4 fifths is. So to help you with this, I've drawn three bars, well four bars. The first three have five parts, and each part um, is equal, and it's represented with an X. The final bar has four of its bars shaded. So each bar is split into fifths, we've got three whole bars, and then we've got four fifths of the final bar. So that is what three and four fifths equals. So to write it as an improper fraction, it, that means it will be something over five, we have to multiply three times five to get the number of fifths in the three bars, so that's three times five, and then we have to add the remaining number of fifths in the last bar. So it's three fifths, plus, um, sorry, three fives are 15, plus four, so our answer is 19 over 5. Well, you'll see why this um, technique is needed um, in the questions that follow. Now, I don't need to draw bars every time, of course. If you look, I have three and four fifths. I simply did the five, the num denominator times the whole number, plus the existing numerator, the number on the top of the fraction, all over the five, the, numer the denominator. And that gave me the 19 over 5. So quickly do another example down here. So if I was doing, so let's just give it a bit of space. If I was doing 7 and 2 thirds, then I'd have 7 bars with 3 um, in each. So that's th 7 threes plus 2 all over 3. 21 plus 2 all over 3. So in its improper form, 23 over 3. If we want to go the other way, if we want to write an um, a improper fraction as a mixed number, then I have to say, how many 8s go into 21? So I could do that down here and say 8s into 21. Well, 8 doesn't go into 21. The nearest it goes into is 16. So 8 twos are 16. Do 2 8s 16 there. And the difference between 21 and 16 is 5 is the remainder. So you have two remainder five. So we write that as two, put the remainder at the top, and then keep the denominator the same. Now we need to write fractions and improper fractions to help us do calculations with them. So we're going to concentrate now on how we would add one and two fifths plus two and a third. So if I write one and two fifths as an improper fraction come down here, then I'll, I'll do that here. So 1 and 2 fifths will be 5 times 1, 5 times the 1, plus the 2. So 5 times the 1 plus the 2, all over 5. So that's 5 and 2 is 7, so we've got 7 fifths. So I'll write that there, ready for the addition that comes. So then the 2 and a third, 3 twos is 6, plus the 1, all over 3 gives me 7 over 3. So I'm, I'm now adding together 7 and 1 fifth plus 7 over 3. Now we have to use a technique that we used earlier. I'm going to use the cross multiplying technique. 3 sevens are 21. 5 sevens are 35. And that's all over 5 threes, which is 15. 21 and 35 is 56. The answer in its improper form is 15 over 56. I'm going to write this out um, a bit more neatly for you on another page. Let's do that again then. So 1 and 2 fifths plus 2 and 1 third equals 5 ones are 5 and 2 is 7, so it's 7 fifths. Then we have the 3 times the 2, plus the 1 is 6 over 3. So, I'm just checking that I didn't make a mistake on the early bit of work. I did. Um, I, no, yeah, no, I didn't. No, fine. So, um, and it's not 6 over 3, sorry, it's 7 over 3. So that's 2 3s are 6, plus the 1 gives me the 7. So I cross multiply, 3 7s are 21. 5 7s are 35, 5 3s are 15, and that's done. So we now have the top, which is 56, 
over 15. Now 15 doesn't quite go into 56 completely. 15 times 3 you should know is 45. If you don't, you can say 5 3s are 15, 1 3 is 3 and 1 is 4. So 15 will go into 56 four times. And the difference between 45 and 56, you can find that by subtraction. 6 to 8, 5 is 1, 5 is a remainder 11. And the final answer is 4 and 11 fifteenths. So that's quite a difficult question. They're really at sort of B grade level. If you can do this, 1 and 2 fifths plus 2 and 1 third, change into improper fraction, cross multiply, and return into a mixed number. Okay, that's the end of this small video on adding mixed numbers together.